Hello, hello. Hello. How are you? Hello, oh, man. I'm doing all right. How are you? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Well, merry late Christmas, but yeah. Oh, How's your holidays? I've been uh, eating more than I should. I feel that. I feel that. <laughs> I think for the first time in my life, I ate. Uh, so I yesterday I had my like the cheat meal and uh, I felt like shit the rest of the day. So like now I know I don't want to do that. So that's a good sign, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's what I was like. All right, well that's that's probably pretty good. It yeah. wasn't good while I was going through the pain, but now it's good that I feel better now. True. Oh. <clears throat> so uh, maybe you can fire up the cam so they can see you. Oh yeah, yeah. We need to have oh, that. Uh, and let me pop out cam. There we go. Oh yeah. Do you have such a nice setup as well in a nice streaming room? I love that. Yo, thank you, man. I uh, we just moved in, so there's still stuff I want to do, but it's like bit, bit bits and pieces. Well, yeah. I so, feel like you get something done, and there's always something else that you find you want to mess with. Well, if you see my room, it's a mess all the time. Uh, but it looks uh, sweet. Is that well, a couch behind you? Uh, it's a bed. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I definitely want to add, like, a sofa in here somewhere. Uh, but I just have a single bed behind me that is filled up with the stuff that is lying all around. <laughs> oh, yeah. If I had a room like yours, I could put something to put stuff in. Yeah. That well, that's what I... It's just me and my other roommate. We have, a, like, two extra bedrooms, so I just throw all my extra stuff in there. Yeah. Use it as, like, a secondary closet. That's how it is. Uh -huh. So, uh, so this last week mentally uh, has uh, was a struggle. I'm not gonna lie. I I think that it was kind of past that whole little, like first week excitement and more like my body was like, damn, we're really changing stuff up. Yeah. And I think that it 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 was definitely harder than I thought it was gonna be the second week. Um, there was a couple days where like I'd get down to like the third and fourth meal and I just I'd be close to bedtime so I'd make like one and a half meals for yeah. that uh, and just not eat the fourth which is I, I know you said the calorie cutting calories won't kill me so no it won't um, kill you but I do know there was a couple days of like I did uh, switch to chicken thighs but I cut the fat off the chicken thighs because I I guess I just was not gifted to cook chicken press very well no. uh i dry the shit out of them and even when i under i feel like i undercook them they're still dry so if that's something you want me to change i'm definitely down to do that uh but for this last week I, that's what i've been doing i would rather have you have more fish meals white fish okay. meals and uh steak meals than uh going over to chicken tenders okay Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you I, tried I to put it, was, it in the oven? Yeah, I so I cut them in the thin strips, and then uh, I also then just cooked them as whole like chicken breasts. Yeah, but I, so what yeah. I do, I I I clean my smoker out, and I was gonna smoke them because I know that I can smoke them fine. Yeah. Um, but in the oven, for some reason, I just I don't have any skill on that. If if you put a full breast just in a glass tray or something put the spices on and like he's saying 200 celsius for 20 minutes i think you can even have it a bit uh, lower temperature 180 as well okay i also think that it might for the chicken like i mean for the the ground turkey and the steak like i feel like after three or four days those still like taste fine i think for the chicken i might need to just cook every other day i yeah. think leaving chicken as, as a meal prep for several days maybe that's what that it was. might be bad as well we could add in a chef to the call there, and uh, he can uh, guide us a little bit if you want to. Yeah, no, uh, I, I definitely, uh, there's a guy on TikTok. Uh, I don't know if you know who he is, but his name's Cody Tries Stuff. No, um, I don't know and he, he, uh, He's been, like, telling me some recipes and stuff that I can do with the chicken and make it a little bit more bearable Yeah. Uh, for, the, for the extra couple days. But I do want to. I, I haven't. I haven't been doing the the white fish. I just have been doing the chicken instead. But I, I definitely okay. need to do that more. Yeah. So, but how is the weight going? I mean, I lost a pound this last week. So, I mean, for I feel like the struggles that I was having, I am trying not to be too hard on myself. I think I could have done better. 
Uh, you should, you shouldn't I mean, be as long as you're losing weight. You shouldn't be hard on yourself in any way. Even if you had gained, you shouldn't be hard on yourself. Yeah. There, there's no. Well, point. that's what I figured too. Because like Saturday for Christmas Eve, yeah, uh, we had my the Christmas at my sister's, and we had we did like bre- a breakfast scramble. Yeah. And so like I tried getting it as close to like my normal meal prep and then the rest of the day i just did my regular meal preps okay uh, and then last night was like my cheat meal so like even having that and still you know lost. still losing a pound yeah that i, I would say and that i think it was also i think it was also too because like even at my sister's like i normally probably would have had like i don't know like three english muffins with like a big bowl of the scramble and i like just ate the one plate so like i think that too like trying uh-huh. to like in those situations adjust portion control so in those yeah. uh, in those situations just take a smaller than you're used to that that will help a lot yeah and i think that was, that's always been my biggest thing is just the portion so like definitely doing that felt felt better and like i felt better through the day too i wasn't like all for the next five hours so no i, I think i think that is a good christmas you shouldn't be complaining at all also, yeah, I was like, I we were they were drinking and stuff, and I was like, if I start drinking, that's when I'm gonna start making some really bad decisions. <laughs> with food. So I was like, I'll have a, I had a, I had like two shots. I was like, we'll have two shots and call it good. So that, that's a good. But chance. with New Year's and stuff, I, I I was looking into some like low um, carb like drinks and stuff because like I drink like uh, Peach Crown. Yeah. And so I mix that with like um, unsweet iced tea, so it's like very low calorie, low carb, and stuff. So yeah, you're not adding any extra for, calories yeah. that you don't need. You still yeah. get the taste you want. You still get to drink yeah. a little bit, but uh, that's it. I, I think that is a smart choice. Because I figured, like, I mean, I know that I'm trying to be strict on the new eating regimen, but I feel like also in the times of like. New Year's and like even with Christmas is making like making that decision to not overeat but still have like some drinks and stuff I think will help like yeah. with my mental of like trying to overcome the whole like overeating and making poor decisions yeah because w- w- what is just as important here is to just learn how to control yourself for the future it doesn't yeah. matter it, it, it isn't really important that you have the, uh, the exact the food that i've told you if you can keep the calories down to the amount that i told you so you're still losing weight the reason why we're doing that strict diet is to to get it all off so we're, so that goes a little bit faster well and that's i had a question because we had uh for the cheat meal we did like uh tacos and stuff and so we had like leftover like guacamole yeah. and so like today for breakfast i was like i it's been a while since I've had avocado toast. So I was like, well, that's going to add calories and fat. Yeah. So I cut down an egg and slice of bread and then just put some guac on the toast. That just, I mean, yeah. I figured like if maybe if I'm adding cleaner stuff, then I subtract some of the stuff that we've been doing on like certain days like today. That, that isn't um, a problem. The only thing is you should learn a little bit how much calories is it in the different things for yourself. So you know, okay. so you know, like about the amount of calories you're taking out and how about uh, how much it is you're putting in. Just so it's close to so it's a, the, the intake and outtake. Uh, yeah, that would be a smart thing. And that's a good thing for the future as well. So because a lot of the problem for people losing weight is they have no idea how many calories they can eat or how much they're eating how much they're uh, uh, making uh, in general they have they have no idea how much calories there is in different foods so read okay. labels when you're getting them just to see okay. that, that's that's a smart thing okay yeah i'll start doing that and like i mean with that it I've done macro counting before. Is that something that you want me working on with that, or is it just more so the calorie intake? Um, well, macros will eventually just be calories at the end anyway. And it's good that you have uh, at least a protein intake because it the more protein you eat, it's harder to... The, it takes more, uh, more uh, energy to... To digest protein that it would with uh, carbs and fat. 
I did notice, and I don't know if if it has anything to do with like the type of meat, but I feel like when I've done steak instead of like ground beef, I I don't know if it's harder for my body to digest, but I definitely feel a little bit better when I'm doing the ground beef. It's probably like I like takes, the steak. Yeah, it's probably more effort to digest. Like uh, break it down. Yeah, but it shouldn't be a big issue. Or do, do you th okay. do you have problems digesting the meat? I, I I don't know if it was it was just more so, and it also could have been I did swap like I mean I had my cheat meal, so then I went back to steak, so that could yeah. be my body's still adjusting to I, eating I the shit that I ate. I would think that is more of an issue than the steak itself. How how was the steak been the older days? Uh pretty good like i i i haven't noticed i mean because i think i eat it earlier in the day it's not too bad i, I haven't be. noticed anything i think there was be. one one day that i ate the steak at night and i i had a stomach ache when i went to bed but i mean that could also just be me changing my lifestyle too so like yeah <clears throat> but i was wondering like as far as like i mean the ground turkey and the ground beef uh has been perfectly fine. I've just been making turkey patties with the ground turkey, so yeah. No, but that that works. Turkey works. Um, so is there anything you want me to change up with the diet? Is it the chicken? Um, yeah, probably uh, the. I'm gonna try smoking the chicken this week and see how I do with it. I still want to give it another shot because yeah. I think that if I if I smoke it, it'll have a different taste, and I. I also feel like I'm better on the smoker than cooking in the oven, so yeah. Um, I'll give that a shot as long as that it's cool to eat it like that. Uh, I'm trying to think, as far as the, I think that there's just certain days, especially with me sleeping a little bit more, with just like being tired, more tired recently. Yeah. Um, I get to that fourth meal sometimes, and I just I'm I'm not hungry for it, or like I'm. Do you want me to not eat right before bed? That that's that's up to you. Okay. You can you can have that meal close to bed, but you can also have it an hour before, or two hours before. That's really up to you. Okay. Okay. So on days where like uh, I get to like that, like I said earlier, that third or fourth meal, or the third and fourth meal. Yeah. Um, and I know like oh you know I ended up eating later than normal. Uh. Is it cool to almost combine some, not eat the both meals, but like maybe add a little bit more protein into that or a little bit more rice or veggies? If it, I know it is that fine. I'm not eating. And it's okay. fine. You can even combine them both if you want to. Okay. It, how we divide Because it's all through, calories going in. Yeah. It's how all... you divide it through the day isn't the most important thing. The reason why we have divided it into four meals is because, at least for me, I feel way better when I have a bit smaller meals divided out yeah. through the day, especially when I've been really hungry dieting. Having those uh, meals on a regular uh, basis out through the day, that feels, I feel like I have a little bit more energy around the meals and then they come okay. much uh, faster or with the less breaks in between. Maybe this next week, too, I'll give a shot of, like, having the normal breakfast and then maybe for the second meal, maybe combining a little bit of the second and third meal and making kind of like a bigger lunch and seeing just how I feel throughout the week with just the, having the dinner, the smaller dinner, too. You can do that. Uh, because I think that also, too, I want to start at, like, I'm going to go back to the gym a couple days a week. Like, I want to get back into, like, basketball and stuff and, and just, like, trying to make the gym fun. Yeah instead of like you know still doing still doing my biking and walking and stuff so yeah do that is uh I, so i've never been in a sauna is my fat ass gonna melt in there is that something that i gotta be careful with like uh, i haven't been much in a sauna myself so i don't know if that's yeah. the worst I was like, I was, one of my buddies that lost a bunch of weight said that he loved the sauna and it, it helped him feel a lot better too after workouts and stuff. So I was like, oh, maybe I'll give it a try. Just try it out. There's nothing. Uh, he's going to melt. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he said. He was like, just get ready not to make it out of there. Uh, I haven't been much in a sauna, but uh, you will sweat. You will sweat a lot. Okay, cool. 
done. I I don't know if it's true, but I heard that it helps with recovery too. So like maybe that'll help me feel a little bit better throughout the day. People if are I do saying that a couple so, times a week. I I don't know how good it is or how how uh, much it works, but uh, it doesn't harm me at all. At least just remember to get in uh, enough uh, dr drink enough. That's important. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna try. I've been grabbing some of these the liquid deaths. Uh, I've tried and it trying myself. to like up the water the water intake a little bit more. I'm I'm terrible with water, so I need to get better with that. Yeah, I've tried those when I was in uh, Austin this uh, summer. They're pretty good. That's what this mango one uh, is actually. I, I it's my favorite so far. I had the lime one, and it it kind of tastes like a, a sprite, but then you like. It's like that taste afterwards that you're like, damn, this is not a Sprite. All right. It kind of tastes like shit. I'm like, it isn't a Sprite at all. Yeah. <laughs> That's for sure. Yeah, it's like a little trick on the mind. Yeah. I like the, the mango one's been really good, but yeah, I'm I mean, not going to lie. Ever since I, I never, like I'd never really drank pop. And then I started drinking this diet Mountain Dew and I was like, damn, it's actually not bad and since I can have it. It is good. I've been good. I've been kind of hooked on it. Yeah. No, but, um, <clears throat> but that's also too is like I, I i think that i'm drinking more liquid overall than i normally would uh oh that's a good so thing. i i was gonna ask how do you feel about um for the coffee i know we were talking about straight black coffee and i'm trying to get used to that but in the meantime like having some fat free cream or is that cool I have no idea how they are. Do you have any uh, examples? Yeah, let me send you a picture. Yeah. So send me a picture. I usually like I had some fat free creamer at the house and then I like mix like some cinnamon and stuff with uh, I think there was like some monk fruit sweetener that I was trying to use. You, you can uh, add in uh, cinnamon. Okay, so this is This is, I think, one of the ones that uh, I was looking at. Fat free. Uh, let me check. Does it? Uh, this in any label here? I think it's like down below. Twenty-five calories per tablespoon. Well, so is that just something that it, it's adding more calories in? It's gonna be less food. It's probably sugar in this, I would guess. Okay. I'm not sure. I need to see the label. Here it is. Is it not? Is it not down below? Zero grams of fat. It has, it has sugar. That's the thing. Uh, okay. I would prefer you to skip this if you can. Okay. Yeah. Well, and that's I honestly I I have been drinking way less coffee since doing this too. Yeah. So I'll try the doing the cinnamon and like the um, the straight black coffee. I might like try like that the monk fruit sweetener or whatever that it is in. Uh, what is this? Whatever it is. Um, um, if wait, unsweetened almond milk. Let me check that one. How that is on calories instead. Uh, 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 nutritional facts. Mm -mm, calorie 30 per cup. Mm. How many milliliters is a cup? 240 milliliters is 30 calories. If you take a tablespoon with the, or two, how, how much do you use? Uh, with the creamer, I was just doing like one or two tablespoons. I would rather use unsweetened almond milk. That's less calories. Okay. Uh, way less. Okay. Yeah, and if I didn't, honestly, that's something too that I didn't even think about was looking to see if there was sugar in it. Uh, let's see here. How much is... Is one tablespoon 15 milliliter, they said. So 240 divided by 15. So it's like, but it will still be 16 calories per tablespoon. 
Ah, okay. But if you use one tablespoon, uh, it is better at least. The best thing would just be to drink. Uh, to drink Straight black coffee. Black coffee is the best. Okay. Uh, to try Splenda or Stevia, cut that sugar. So is, it out. So. is monk fruit sweetener? I thought that I read that it was in that Splenda Stevia family. I don't know if that's a hundred percent true. What what is that? Uh, monk fruit sweetener. Let me. Send it. Monk fruit sweeteners, everything you need to know. I think it's in the Splenda family. It might be. Is a key is keto friendly? Was I yeah, I think yeah, I had it when I was doing keto. How much calories do you Harris probably says can people that they just consume monk fruit sweetener. Uh, it's zero calories, the one that I have. Yeah, it, they, they often... But it has the erythritol in it, I think, which is in stevia too, I think. I would rather use that at least. Okay. Okay, yeah, I'll try, I'll try the straight black coffee with that uh, and cinnamon in it and see. I uh, like it. Maybe I'll just try doing it like ice. It might be better ice with that. You can do that as well. Personally, I didn't like coffee at all, but I had one cup every day, every morning on my diet, and I think that it, now I can at least drink it. It's not like oh, this tastes good, but I just drink it for, for the sake of drinking yeah. it. Well, and that's why I I haven't really been drinking much coffee, uh, no. since doing this. So like I haven't felt that like. I used to like coffee a lot, but I haven't been drinking much with this. So, like, when I was, I was just trying to make better decisions of, like, what to put in it. But, well, as Red Nell is saying, is that just chug it? <laughs> just chug it? All just right. get it down. All right, I'm with that. I, I would have done that myself, at least. That is... Probably the best. Uh, wait, wait, what is this? A guy was sending some weird message and I got it up. One, two, three, four. A lot of the. It's trying to send it over and over again. Deny. Oh, really? And it's getting blocked by the uh, auto oh, wow. I see it on my end, but he's he can't <laughs> see. Well, that's fine. No, but um, what more is there to say? The chicken, we have to get away for you to make it so you can enjoy it because chicken breast is should be good. There's okay. no reason why that should taste bad for you. The, it's the simplest meat. Okay, yeah, and that, I, I'll just have to keep trial and error and have I mean, if it's on the smoker, I should be fine, like I said. Yeah. Uh, but maybe I'll just buy some chicken and, and try. I, I don't know why that. Like, I cook most anything in an oven, but when it comes to chicken, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. No. Kniva, thank you for 43 months. Does he have an Insta pot? I've been cooking my chicken in there, and it's. Uh, and then shredding it. I don't know. Is that like a. Uh... Oh, shit. Like a crock pot? I don't know. Air fryer works. Air fryer chicken is best. Pressure cooker is good. Instapot equals pressure cooker. You should try some of them. Okay. I've also tried it on a grill. Like those electrical grills. That is really easy to cook them. Okay. Uh, there's so many ways of making it easy. Okay. Yeah, I'll definitely, I'll, I'll definitely try some of the air fryer and some of the smoker this this next week. 
and then so then would you want um would you want me to replace the uh turkey burgers with chicken you can do that if you can okay i'm not sure if you I have just... exactly this one in america because i don't know if this brand is there but this brand here you have some a program where you can put it to uh, how uh, how you want it cooked or what type of meat you're cooking and uh, you press OK and then it starts cooking and when it's uh, medium it's finished. Oh, okay. Tefal op de grill. I think the George Bar, yeah, the George Foreman one. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Uh, pool, is there, do you recommend uh, any like like what do you cook your chicken at? I mean, is it dependent on the size of the chicken? I guess uh, I guess it uh, would be with the uh, air fryer. Uh, the air fryer, I haven't used it that much, but it's basically the same as he said with putting it in an oven. And okay. you can uh, you can just um, you can just uh, put it in uh, the air fryer for about 18, 20 minutes, maybe less. 180 degrees and it's finished probably do some uh some studying on like youtube and shit and try to find the best yeah but if you use 16. that grill it will measure the thickness of the chicken the one i sent you the name on um, oh really and it just when it says it's finished it's finished okay yeah that's actually dope i didn't know that those girls did that In thermometer and cooking it 260 265. Yeah, that thermometer would also help. Knut, what do you think about cooking with sauces like soy sauce and such? Is <coughs> that you can use soy sauce because it's basically no calories, so you could try to put that in a pan with the chicken as well if you want to. Okay. That would be possible. It should be so many ways. Yeah, I just got to figure out how to do it right. I'll do that. Yeah. And you should try some white fish as well in air fryer or in okay. a pan or whatever you like. Okay, yeah, I'll, uh, I that's what I was I was baking the chicken uh, or the fish. Yeah. Uh, but maybe I'll try the try doing the um kind of like with the chicken only do like a day or two at a time. Yeah so it doesn't like dry out or get like spongy true what do you but feel yeah about, i'll get some um, soy sauce too what do you feel about logging what you eat on an app yeah i could do that like um my fitness pal my fitness pal yes yeah, i think i have that i think that would be because then we can look at what you have been eating just get it a habit every time you eat register what you're eating Okay. And then we can see what days you go lower, what days you go eat everything. And we can Let compare me see, that to the weight um, loss as well. I was going to send this to you to see if you approve, because if you do, I also wanted to send it uh, over to Jesse, because it, it's been how I've been. I've honestly been loving the veggies like this. Let me see. Glad to see this again. I was wondering how the people you're helping is doing. There's there's some struggles, but it's still going the correct way. That's uh, that's how it should. That's how I expected it to be. Maybe I'll, I might have to take a picture of the bag. I don't know if it's showing up right now. No. Um. Slowest win the race, steady and uh, steady will win the race. That is correct. You have to just do it. If it goes faster, some periods, slower, some periods, doesn't matter. The most important you, thing is that you continue. Yeah, how do you feel on uh, like some nights instead of fish doing like um, shrimp? Isn't that is basically that, the is same? that not enough protein? Okay. Shrimp. I, uh, I think it is. I, I don't know. I have to look. I'll have to pull it up. See what the. 
let me just check the calories. Fat, almost nothing. Uh, carbs, nothing. It's it's good. You can use shrimp. Okay. It's a approved uh, thing to eat. 100 grams. Cool. It's basically the same amount as chicken I would have used them. Okay, so then do you want me doing 200 grams of the shrimp? Yeah. Or do you want me doing three for like the fish? I think I would have done the 200 grams. Okay. It took okay, me yeah. two years to change mindset and start training from <laughs> watching Knut stream. Also, I learned a lot about how shit in Norway is. <laughs> And then you compared it to Sweden and it was the same, wasn't it, uh, Red Nail? <laughs> it was exactly the same. Oh, but shrimp, you can have that. Okay. Cool. No, no. Yeah, I figure, no. I like, I, I want to try to like this with the, with the proteins, try to have options on, on certain nights. Cause I know like, with the fish there was there was one that i just was not the fish just sounded gross but yeah. that's also it was like the end of my meal prep so that's probably if i'm only cooking every one to two days it'll probably be better just have the shrimp as a regular uh, as the, use the same amount as the chicken you can if you switch it with the white fish meal just use 200 grams okay Seasoned, seasoned grill shrimp is so good, the guy is saying. I think it's good. Oh, on the grill, okay. Yeah, you, you, you can make I it. I just wonder how smoked shrimp would be. I've yeah. never done smoked shrimp. That might be good. Make it exactly how you want to. A little hot sauce. We're trying to avoid all the sauces, dumb core. But some uh, soy sauce can be used. Oh, I did. Okay, I did find the vegetables. So they're, they're like these fire roasted uh, frozen veggies, uh, but it's got like a mixture of Brussels sprouts, mushrooms, red onions, bell peppers. If you can use this, you can probably that. use this. Mix frozen mixed vegetables. What vegetables are there in it? It's just... Uh, Brussels sprouts, bell peppers, red onions, and mushrooms, I think. Yeah, yeah they can use that. It's no issue. I'm not going to limit you on the vegetables, so you can you can you can have this one, no problem. Yeah, I've been doing like the air fry broccoli is good. Um, I, I definitely like them in the air fryer over like roasting in the oven. Honestly, yeah. just the air fryer. I might buy another air fryer because air fryer just is so good for all the cooking. They are. Air fryers are some of it's one of the best ways of cooking. I think it's easy and it works really well. I definitely have felt less uh, of the the stinky ass protein farts over the second week. I will say that I, I've definitely felt cleaner over the second week. So that's not... probably your stomach getting used to <laughs> yeah. used to the um, protein digesting it. <sighs> so uh, that's a good thing. No, but when is the next day you're uh, making food? Uh, I think I have two more days of meal preps so okay. probably thursday yeah oh. but um that yeah, is monday try some uh ways of making the chicken okay. i think it should be pretty good if you do it correct i i prefer yeah. i prefer steak myself or beef but uh chicken is almost just as good if you make it correct. okay yeah, I think for this next week, I'll probably try the, um, I'll do chicken breast, uh, steak or like ground beef and then, uh, shrimp for the third meal and see yeah. how that goes. Do that. Well, uh, I should probably go to bed. It's uh, 3 a.m. Yeah, it's late for you. Yeah. 3 a.m. We, we can do, an, up Thank we you can do an update after you have made the next, uh, meal prep. The day after okay. or something? Do you think that would work? Yeah, Friday. Yeah, Friday? Yeah. Yeah, yeah let's have Friday. If you want to talk before that, just hit me up. All right, cool. Okay. I look forward to talking to you, man. Get some rest and, and Merry late Christmas to all you guys. Thank Merry you again. Merry Christmas to you and uh, all your uh, friends and family as well. Just uh, yeah, yeah. hit me up if it is something. 
I'm okay. almost always there. <laughs> yeah, no, I appreciate you, man. I no will problem. talk to you later. Have a good evening. Right. Goodbye. You too. Bye. Yes, that was Send It. He, uh, we're working with him. He, uh, I think, I think he will do good. I think I, I really have high hopes for him doing good. He uh, is he's doing a great job. He's a little bit hard on himself, uh, maybe at least uh, now and then. But it's hard to. I think it is hard for someone that is judging himself in that way to really let go of that feeling of how can I explain the feeling of not doing good enough takes time to t turn the mindset or tune the mindset. Yeah, true. I'm trying to telling this because it is important that he shouldn't be too hard on himself, even if it's a little fail here, a little thing, a little bit there that happens. It doesn't matter as long as you continue. You can just push him into right there. You can just push him into right, the right direction. Of course, I'm trying my best. This is a bit, as I've said, working with people that are struggling with these things is a bit new to me but i'm i'm learning as we go as well and i think we're doing good it seems like we're doing good Whoa.